Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to set an object or shape size using the ratio feature. And this will be done in TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here now, just a quick reminder again, this is a mini series on transforming um, shapes. Yeah, and we will leave relevant links in the description so you can follow it along. Now, when it comes to setting the ratio of a object scale, what this will pretty much be doing is that we'll set it in ratio to what it is. So, if this is for instance 100%, 100, they normally use as a base then if i had to scale it to 200 percent it will make it exactly twice as big or 50 percent will be half the size so that's something to keep in mind so there's two ways we can do this um the first way is on top here on this bar i think they called it the cut bar or something like that i could be wrong and the other one is here on our um, system work plate so let's just select this and quickly look at it. Now to select objects, you can drag with your selection tool on the top left here, just the selection box over it. If it is not completely over it, it will not select it. So just keep that in mind. Or you can select it on one of these rooms. Now with it selected, let's first look at the top here. So we have this little area with a percentage. As you can see, so this is where we'll set our ratio. Now the lock next to it will lock the ratios together. So the horizontal and vertical. Otherwise, at the moment, if I say 200% on this, then it's going to make it an oval for us. The bottom will still be, as you can see, 100 millimeters, and the top is not 200 millimeters. You might also have noticed this resets it. So now this is the new 100% for the width. So to reset that back, we can even change either change the value here or we make this 50%. Should be exactly half of what it was, which is there. And we click this little lock and now let's try that again we go 200 percent press enter now you can see it scaled both of them from 100 millimeters to 200 millimeters so this is a quick way to set um, scales quite accurately by using it uh, to a ratio feature so let's just set that back to 50. now the next way we can do this also with the object selected go to our system work plate we go far right to the last tab which is called transform and then we go to the third one which you can see here is ratio now you can go up here again and then we can do the same thing go to 100 but then um as far as i remember this one keeps the ratios relevant the moment our lock is on so i'll try switch it off and we see does it still do it then uh let's put the lock off Let's try now 200% again. Oh, wait. 200% makes this one 100%. Uh, so it automatically locks it. So maybe this changes it. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so what is this called? It's not that you use this one much, but it's uh, this pro what appropriate. <laughs> Okay, yeah. In any case, that is what it is. I don't know, you guys can maybe try to pronounce it yourself in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite a mouthful. I'm sure if I had to spend time, I'll get it. But in any case, so that this will now unlock your proportions, you can say, relevant to each other. We have that checked. And obviously, underneath that, like with rotation, scale, and those things, we've got the actual anchor point. So if you um, want to do it, maybe from the bottom left corner, 200%, click apply. Okay, that won't be a good example. So let's try that again. Bottom left corner, we keep this one off. So it will be 200 by 200. Yeah, there we go. So now it's setting the ratio from that anchor point. Sorry, I'm still trying to read that word. Okay. <laughs> Back to the video. So otherwise, yeah, that is it on setting it via ratio. If we go here to softwaretraining.c.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find what you're looking for, just go here, request a training video. Then we will make that video for you. 
But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.